Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So each Tuesday or every other Tuesday, depending upon what we're bringing you for the Tech Tuesdays, um, we'll try to put out as many out there as we can to help you guys out there in the creating world. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the CR6 Max again, the Creality. So today we're going to be talking about the extruder filament drive, the upgrades, and some of the things that you can get out there. Um, so we're going to be getting right into that, and we'll show you the first one. Okay, so we have the first one that we're going to show you. I mean, this is going to be the main one we're going to talk about, of course, and it's the MK8 um, feeder. And this is actually a fairly reasonably um, low-priced feeder, and we're going to Throw a shout out to uh, Micro Center. You can actually get those at the, any Micro Center that's near you or the location. Depending upon uh, where you're located, you may not have a Micro Center. And of course, you can order these online. And they're anywhere between $9.99 to $15.99, depending upon where you're purchasing it from. And most places do give uh, free shipping, of course. Then the price might be a little bit higher to try to, you know kind of adjust for that shipping fee but if you can go pick it up go pick it up it's um we have one here um that we uh just wanted to show you in the package and it's actually this one that's pictured and this is the mk8 this is actually a great upgrade and it's really like i was saying really cheap uh in price and it's an aluminum feeder and what's nice is you can actually on your creality uh if that's what you're using It'll help from the old existing one because this right here, the gear is actually covered up on your old one. So you can't see the filament passing through to make sure, you know, we had made a couple videos about these screws coming loose in here. And if that of course occurs and we, you know, watch that video, that'll kind of give you some help on how to fix that. But you'll actually be able to see everything within there if the filament's going through, if this is tight enough, or if it's too tight, or it's, you know, holding up the, the filament. So there's a lot of helpful things with the open um, feeder, and that's what we like to use. And we just kind of wanted to put this video out there to show you this one. There are several other, you know, upgraded ones that you can utilize in different colors of aluminum ones. I mean, there's so many things out there. But this one's very easy to, you know, put on. All of them are pretty much easy to put on. And we like this one too because the spring tensions are great. And they don't actually, some of these springs, that's what you got to watch is your spring tension. And if they get too tight or not tight enough, where your filament feeds through, it will actually, if it's too tight, it will actually cut it or um, cause it to get bound up in there. So you just want to have that right setting. And that's something we'll talk about in future videos as far as not only the setting of the filament through the settings here with the Allen key to tighten the spring and loosen the spring. So that way it's tight in here. But we'll also talk about the settings. We actually recommend that you use Creality's site to, you know, set any of the settings. And we'll talk about that in the next, probably in the next up and coming videos. So today we just wanted to talk to you about the extruder upgrades. This is the MK8 again. Uh, if you have a better upgrade that you guys like out there, just let us know in the comments and or if there's something you're held up on or you you haven't found uh, one that you like or you have some other questions, just put that in the comments. We try to put out as many videos as we can in regards to the Tech Tuesdays and try to get caught up with your questions. We do have a lot of questions coming in and a lot of uh, technical advice. So we try to put that all out there. So we hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you on the next one.